All right, for home buyers needing to get a loan, are they doomed competing against all cash offers? That's a great question, and we're going to dive into it right now. Absolutely. My name is Lane, and this is Scott, and we are bringing you the Orange County Real Estate Beat. We love doing this. Happy to have Scott in. He filled in for, uh, Philip filled in for you over the last few weeks, but let's dive in. So we've heard the saying, is cash king? But the question is, Scott, when it comes to real estate, is cash king? That's an excellent question, Lane. And we have to remember there's two types of offers when a buyer is prospectively purchasing a property. One is coming with all cash. The other is coming in with a certain percentage of the purchase price as down payment and financing the rest. One of the things I like to look at is thinking to what is the seller's ultimate goal. At the end of the day, when the escrow closes, the seller is going to pocket all of that money that was the purchase price, less their closing costs and real estate fees, whether the offer was financed or not. So let me ask you a question. Um, when you want to figure out what the seller, what's important to the seller, and you're just a home buyer and you don't even know the seller, how do you determine that, or how do you get to the bottom of what is important to the seller? That's an excellent question. I think that's what every home buyer needs to do is go through their realtor and have their realtor get in touch with the seller's realtor and find out before they even put in an offer what is the most important thing to the seller. Believe it or not, sellers will sometimes say, "I want the quickest escrow. I want the family." who is going to raise their kids to buy this house because that's where I've been the last 50 years. We don't know whether they're analytics, whether they're emotionals, what their true motivation is at the end of the day with that um, home sale. And any prospective buyer needs to know that first so they can put themselves in the best position. All right. So I'm a home buyer. Yes, sir. I'm taking out a I need to get a mortgage. Okay. And I know that I'm competing against all cash offers. What can I do to, uh, like, to try to have a chance at even getting an offer accepted? And actually, do I even have a chance at all? Excellent question, Lane. And you absolutely do have a chance today because, again, at the end of the day, what the seller wants is to minimize risk. And the risks that inv are involved in transactions are the contingency time frames. And that is the contingency time frame for a buyer to have an inspection, the time frame for a buyer to have an appraisal of the property, and the ultimate appraised value coming in at or above the agreed upon sales price. There are so many other myriad contingencies and things that go along with an offer that sometimes also go along with a cash offer, like that inspection contingency. So if the buyer says to themselves, how can I reduce risk and minimize contingencies to the seller, I'm going to have a better chance with the financed offer not being put at the bottom of the pile. So in your experience, because you've been a listing agent a number of times, right, and we've had multiple offers on a lot of our listings, um, a lot of which have had both financed offers and all cash offers, what would you say would be uh, the percentage of the ones that get accepted being all cash versus finance? Do you, like, do, would you see like maybe the all cash having more accepted offers or would you see uh, the buyers that are obtaining loan have a, you know, get offers accepted more often? I think our viewers are going to be surprised by the answer, Lane. My thought is without diving into our records is to say it's about 50-50 and I think that's a pretty solid number. No, I think you're right on. I, I, it's the same for us. And uh, you'll be surprised because the finance offers that we're seeing, they're, for the most part, their agents are training them pretty well about what they need to do with the terms to get an offer accepted in this particular marketplace. So we're seeing them come in with no appraisal contingencies, a lot of times no loan contingencies, short investigation contingencies, and having the best price. So it's almost as good and as strong as all cash as you were alluding to earlier. So that's why I think we're seeing more of these finance offers beat out the all cash. So if you are obtaining a loan and you need to get one to purchase a home, do not be discouraged if you're competing against all cash because there's a lot of things you can do to be able to get your offer accepted. Now, uh, let's say I am a, a buyer and I'm all cash. I have all cash to bring to the table. What do I need to know when I'm submitting an offer? And am I a shoe in Absolutely, Lane. And I don't think you are a shoe in because again, let's think about this. You're all cash. Oftentimes the all cash offers tend to have a little bit of a bluster, a little bit of an ego about themselves. And they'll put in a longer time frame to do investigations. They'll sometimes even put in an appraisal contingency, believe it or not, because they want that third-party validation that what they're paying for the house is acceptable in today's marketplace. My advice to an all-cash offer would be, if you want your cash to really be king, make sure that you have almost no contingencies whatsoever for investigation. Keep it tight. Keep it sweet. Get all your investigations done in 72 hours. No appraisal contingency. Your HOA document contingencies, if there's an HOA, get those toned down too. Take the steps to put yourself in the seller's position to say, how can I make sure this seller feels most comfortable with me? And I just have to get those boxes checked off as quickly as possible so they know that there's no more risk. Now, I remember in my real estate tenure early on, 
Um, the all cash offers, they were trying to get a deal. They were trying to get lower than the asking price, or they were trying to beat out some of these finance offers that were a little bit higher in price. Do you think that you're, st do you're are you still saying that? Are all cash offers able to get deals in, anymore in this marketplace, or is basically highest price and best terms winning? You know, what are you seeing? That's a great question, Lane. And you know what I think what I can say in short is the all cash offer E has been humbled in our current marketplace today. They're in a climate where there's multiple offers. They know that the seller is most likely going to be looking for highest and best, and there's going to be people that are willing to pay more than they are that are financed. And I would like to give one more caveat to our buyers out there who are financed. Put yourself in the position of an all-cash offer and say, how can I compete best against these all-cash offers? Talk to your realtor ahead of time and understand the fact that you can actually go in with minimal or no loan contingencies even when you have a financed offer. Because if you've gotten a solid pre-approval from that lender, you know unless you lose your job, you're going to be able to get that loan. And it's doable and it's not that difficult. Again, you want to have that conversation with your lender as well as understanding that you don't need lengthy inspection contingencies either. And I think the lenders and mortgage brokers, they've really stepped it up over the number of years. For a lot of them, no, I'm not saying all of them, have really stepped it up to be able to understand that uh, the need to compete against all cash offers. So they've done a lot of things procedurally to be able to still close in less than 30 days now, to be able to do loan approvals in like a week, week and a half, to be able to order the appraisals right away because they know that their, their clients, their borrowers, their, like our buyers, they need to be able to compete against an all-cash environment. So I think that these, a lot of these lenders and mortgage providers have done a really good job uh, stepping up to the plate. Fantastic thought, Lane. And actually, on that same note, it's all about managing expectations when you come in as a buyer with financing. You want your lender to be part of the mix. Think how powerful it's going to be if you present an offer and that listing agent not only gets the offer and a call from the agent verifying that they've gotten the offer, but what if the lender calls as well and says, hey, I just want to let you know my buyers, Jane and Joe, are 100% underwritten and approved. This is a done deal. Wow. Exactly. And I think it's really important for your lender, your mortgage broker, whoever you're working with to have a really good relationship with the real estate agent too, because they're going to be working together over the next, you know, if it takes you a couple months to find a home and a 30 day escrow, you know, you're working together for three months. So you're going to want to make sure that that relationship is tight, but then also a real estate agent or professional or team, or again, whoever you're working with will understand and know who the good brokers are and who the ones might be a little bit slower on their, on their game, so to speak. So I think you want to get that up done up front too and, and introduce the mortgage broker that you would like to work with up front. Absolutely, Lane. So let's go ahead and sum it up as we wrap up today. We started with the question, is cash king when submitting a real estate offer to purchase a home? Lane, why don't you summarize for us, is that true or not? Yeah, no, good question. Uh, it's, that, it's not true anymore. It's not true. The, uh, buyers are doing a really good job and, and the professionals in, the, in our industry not everybody's professional, but the professionals in our industry are doing a really good job coaching the buyers um, and being able to compete against these all cash offers. And like you said, it went from an, a time where maybe it was 75, 25, where all cash offers were getting accepted over finance offers to getting to 50, 50. You know, it's not as the, these all cash offers are no longer a shoe in. And, but if you are an all cash offer, there's still a lot of things you can do as well to compete against the finance and, 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 you know, make, make your offer that much stronger, but also realize you are no longer in a marketplace where you're going to get a deal either. So I think that hopefully all sum, summarizes what we talked about today. I think so. And then in closing, if we have any potential sellers that are watching as well, it's just understanding what's most important to you at the end of the day and making sure that all of the offers that are presented to you lay out all the facts, all the risks. Because again, an all-cash offer can have underlying risks that outweigh those of a financed offer. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Orange County Real Estate Beat. We love doing this. We're going to be back same time, same place next week in our beautiful podcast studio. Thanks for watching. Bye.